Hi everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Thank you for joining me today. We're gonna to take a walk around this antiques auction. Let me know what your favorites are. I did buy some of the lots. This video is gonna to have to be in two parts because it will go too long. This is a beautiful lot. I was bidding on this lot of rings. It sold for $280. And of course there's the buyer's premium of 15% plus taxes. I don't have a tax number. DB. So you have to add that on to the selling price. That was a very cool lot. I, I wish I got it, but I don't know. I didn't want to go much higher than, you know, 280. Those are awesome though, you gotta say, right? Now this lot, I think this is a sterling silver lot. And I do like this lot. There's some cool stuff here. I didn't see anything unique enough or interesting enough. This lot sold for 80. And there's some Siam Sterling. That's pretty. I don't usually see it in the bright colors like that. That's kind of awesome, right? Very nice. Little stick pin. Pretty stuff. Pretty stuff. Maybe I should have bid on it. I don't know. That's a cool necklace. Somebody was asking 60 for that in their shop. I liked it. I liked it. Just, I didn't think I could make a ton of money. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Whoa. That's kind of amazing. Look at the workmanship. And that is some sort of a claw. This sold for 300 I don't really know enough about this type of jewelry. I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess I would have liked it. I would have liked it to wear, but not enough to really bid that up over 300 Now, these rings are very cool. That's a great amber ring. Now, those are not old. They look old, but they are not old. They are pretty, though, for sure. That whole lot sold for $140. I didn't really want to jump in at that price and make it go up. But if you count how many rings are there, how many are there? Uh, six times three, I guess 18 rings. Or maybe there's 24, not sure. So that's, you know, not a bad price. 140 is not a bad price for all of those. I tried that one on. I think that one's interesting. I mean, I think they're all interesting, but this lot I absolutely loved. I truly love. Look at that bow. That is different. That's a wow. There's another bow. That one's a little bit more ordinary, probably some sort of an inside to that too. Like a, you know, it's not hollow or whatever. I love that too. I love these old abalone butterflies. They are somewhat common. And there is a very cool butterfly bracelet. That had nice weight to it also. I'm just trying to look here. Yeah, you know what? That sold for $375, that lot. I was bidding. I didn't want to go much above that. Trying to make a profit, you know? Trying to make a profit. This is cool. What is that? That's old. That's very old. Tax go, 980. Oh, That's really cool. Is that a sea serpent or something? Couldn't tell. That's old too. That's a very cool thing. Well, I, I like that. I like that. This is cool. Look at Rudolph. Can you imagine? Super cool. I love that lot as well. That's pretty too. Everything here is pretty. That whole lot sold for 135 I was jumping in on this, but I didn't want to go much higher. To me, like something like that's a little more common, right? Not bad, just more common. I have those exact earrings, kind of funny. That's a nice, definitely a nice cuff bracelet. I don't know. Maybe I should have bid higher than 135 And this lot I like. I liked that piece in particular. I did don't remember what this sold for, but there's some more Siam Sterling. Siam 
some so that's the yellow wear bracelet as well yeah they're they're cool some nice pieces a little bit common a little bit common not enough wow factor for me as a reseller except for that i really like that that's kind of a cool thing that abstract thing now this lot um i actually bought look at that statue of liberty very cool very old but that what that's my thing right there all right let's take a look oh i love this thing you put it in the light a little bit I was thinking this was sapphirate glass. However, I don't, I don't think it is. It's weird. It's, it's got like a doublet kind of thing. It's like a, I've never seen anything like it. I don't know what it is. If somebody knows, uh, please tell us. Cause I think we would all like to know what that is. If there's even a name for it. But what I thought was cool about it is this. I've never, ever ever seen a stick pin that does that and i'm trying to think what its purpose would be why would you why would you want to do that um i don't know but it is way cool and so that's the reason i really wanted to buy this lot i really was just after this and kind of for myself too i'll probably just keep this and put it in my pin cushion girl some people know what i'm talking about I don't think there's a mark. Let me double check. I don't see a mark and it is certainly not real gold. It's probably gold filled. I've just never seen anything like that before. Kind of like a dual color, like the green on the bottom and the kind of orange on the top. It's almost like imitation sapphire glass, which is just sort of strange, unless it's something else. Well, if you know, if you know, tell us. This little guy must be sterling. It looked like there are some marks that have worn away through the years. Can you see? It said something in there. You probably can't tell, but it's really cute. Who always thinks of the coyote <laughs> and, and the cartoon, the coyotes after you? That's what I always think about when I see a roadrunner. Look at this ring. How different. I've never seen anything like that before. Two horses. That's super cool. Look at the detail. Look at the tail. That's going right into the band. And this one too. And this is Ott Sterling. And I think, I think I know who that is. I think I've sold this before. I'm pretty sure I have. But I don't have any information on the company or anything off the top of my head. But that's cool. I was thinking somebody might like to buy this. I think it's very different. This is adorable. This is Mark 925. I love it. This may be rhodium plated. That might be why it's so silvery. Or it might say 925 and maybe it isn't silver at all. I don't know, but I love it. Oh, is there another mark? Hmm. Does that say ATT? Let me look. I don't know what that says. I think it might be a triangle. Then it says TY and then it says tie underneath. I don't think it's old, but it's really, really cute. I love all the little rhinestones, but I love the two in the body. That's adorable. Look at this pretty little cameo ring. So that is not shell. This is some sort of glass or stone. And this has been applied on, right? They had the black and then you can even see the glue there. And this is not real gold. It looks it, but it is just gold filled. That's pretty though. It's interesting that she's facing left too. This is another interesting ring. This is probably, yes, it's 925 right there. That's very cute. This one is not as nicely made as the horses. Like it's just lighter and stuff. Still adorable. I love it. I believe I have the matching brooch to this. So this is a Taxco piece. I think most people know, right? T is for Taxco. And then I, uh, I guess that's an I, is the initial of, well, the first initial usually of the artisan. And then that other number is their registration number. 
so that we can always know who made it. Well, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes these artisans, I guess they didn't have a very big body of work and there isn't a lot of recorded stuff on the internet about them. This is a nice substantial bracelet though. This is a very, very pretty set. And I'll tell you something, it's heavy. This is a very heavy set. You can probably tell by looking at it, right? I love these earrings. I will definitely keep these and wear them. These are marked, I think, Sterling Thailand, 925 Thailand, something like that. They need to be polished. I will polish these lightly. I'm not a fan of polishing things, but I think these would look much better, a nice shiny silver. Um, that's just what I feel, and I'm keeping them, so I will be polishing those up a bit. Aren't those cool? I like the movement. I love the color, too. Beautiful aqua turquoise blue beads. I had one of these before, so I already know that this is a pencil for a chatelaine, and that's where you would hang it from. Now, I think it's broken because I can't get the, the thing to come out. Um, hmm. Let me just see if I can figure it out. I think this is the only part that unscrews, but this is probably where you put the lead. Yeah, there is lead in there. Hmm. That's not really lead, right? It's graphite. Or I don't know. Maybe when it's this old, it is. I just don't know. I guess maybe it's missing a piece that you would turn to make that come out at the bottom. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. It's still a very, very pretty... It's a pretty piece, even just to wear as a pendant. It's very, very lovely. Beautiful antique. This is pretty, actually. Look at the gold stone. I don't know if this is original to it or not. It says gold filled somewhere there. It says GF. Uh, I don't know. Let me back it up a little bit. It's pretty, though. Let me just show you. It's not, you know, it's hard to... Hard to show you any other way other than this. There it is. Isn't that nice? I think it is. I guess that's Tiger's Eye. I don't know what this one is, the brown. I have a J. King necklace like that. I'm not sure what that's called, but somebody knows, I'm sure. Well, that's a pretty thing. I like it. So let's take a look at some of the earrings. And well, like I said, let's put everything here. Well, I'll put it outside a little bit. Okay. These are cool. <laughs> Look at these. Very nice. These are CZs, I'm sure. They sure look it. Maybe just maybe just glass. But they're sterling. And then this ring. This ring looks nice and old. I don't know what that says. Um, I don't know. A-L-H, maybe? Something? Might be some letters missing. Not sure. That's a pretty ring, though. And I like this, too. Now, this one is also marked, let's see, 925 GA Italy. I don't know who GA is. I think that's a pretty piece, though. Back it up. I like it. I like anything with a crown. I like crown jewelry. And here's a nice bracelet. Look at all those facets. Nice neutral color. And this one may be a Ross Simons, but I think there's another company as well that has a similar um, signature. So maybe this isn't China. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. This is really nice though. I like it. Here's some pretty earrings. You know, when they do this with the white enameling on these, they're so sparkly. My camera's making that look yellow. Let me see if I can get it better. Mm, maybe for a change, that actually is yellowed off. Usually it's just my camera. Yeah, maybe it is. 925, I think. A, A U. Hmm, I don't know. Not sure. Pretty. And here's a ring that's kind of shot, right? I love the gold tone just sort of. Uh, going away, uh, wearing away. I'm sure that says 925 something or other. Looks like it. A little bit of vermeil there. The gold on top. This is interesting. 
I like this ring a lot. This is nice and heavy. And there's the eagle mark. The, hmm, I don't know who this is. It's very pretty though. And here's some other very, very big earrings. Clips. It's almost like they'd kind of have to be since they're so big, you know. Those are sterling too. Look at these. Whoa. These are CZs for sure. How pretty. Right? Woo. Sparkle, sparkle. And I thought I just saw the other one of, I think I do have the other one of this, the heart. Uh, I don't know. I guess I swept it away accidentally a minute ago, but I think I have two of those. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> that's cute. Little horse. And that's probably split like that on purpose. It's like a real cheap version, I guess, of like fitting, fitting different fingers, adjustable. Maybe it seems smooth. That's why I don't think it was cut. Anyway, sorry. My fingers are klutzy and getting in the way. <laughs> He's a cute little thing. Okay, let's go back to the auction. OMG, you're never going to believe what just happened. I put this down and the stone came out. Now, the good news is we'll have a chance to really take a look at this glass. And I can just get that back in there too, but I, I didn't do that on purpose. How interesting. Let me just put it in the light. It's just really showing up kind of lousy. Yeah, that's not helping us. <laughs> that's not helping us. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I will uh, carefully put that back in there. I can't believe that just happened. Wow. Look at this ring. Isn't that pretty? I tricked you. That's a bracelet. Look at how huge that is. Oh, boy. I certainly did love that one. That was great. Sold for 140 this lot I really loved a lot. That's a great frame, isn't it? I believe most of this lot was gold filled. This lot sold for $320 plus plus, right? You're going to pay your kind of 20 something percent on top of that. Ooh, I love that with the pink stones. Pretty, right? All really pretty. 320. I don't know. It's a little bit steep. That's gorgeous. I don't know if that's a winner. I wasn't sure what that was. Definitely pretty stuff. That's cool. Look at that pendant. Wow. It's so unusual. So large. This lot is pretty cool too. And guess what? I bought it. Let's have a look at this lot. I think there was a reason. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. There was a reason I wanted this lot. Whoa. Um, okay. <laughs> I took it out. I took it out because I was uh, showing my mom before. Uh, give me one second. Let me go get it. I can't find it right now. I don't know where it went. I will, uh, if I can find it, I'll chime in with it just randomly. Let's see what this says. Cultured Pearls 10 Karat Clasp need to be restrung. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. I don't know how to do that. Those are pretty though. Wow. This I love. Oh, are you broken? Hm. You son of a gun. Sterling, you say. That pretty. Uh, yeah, let me move. Let me move all this stuff. Hold on. I think that's so nice. Look at that color. Such a shame about that pin. It's not easy. I mean, I don't know how to do it anyway, but I guess if this was here and that other part was here, it would be, um, you know, you just need the pin part, but it's not. Well, I love it. And you can see what somebody did. Somebody just put it like this so you could wear it as a pendant, which would be fine. Look at that yellow glass. So pretty. This is so weird. I don't know what in the world this is. It's very, very light. Is this possibly celluloid or something? I think this has age on it. I do. It's sort of like it's been spray painted, you know. 
I think this is quite a curiosity. That's a very, very cool pin, actually. Do you like this one? It's weird, and that's what I like about it. I thought this was a pin. It's a bracelet. What? How much was this person trying to get for this? Let me see. Did that say 45? I think I maybe would have paid 45 for this. This is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Have you? I haven't. Oh, I love you. I love you. How pretty is that? Look at all those colors, too. And this one is a brooch. This one's very pretty. This has a lot of wear to the gold tone, I guess it was, in the day. Mostly in the back, though. Still very pretty. Lots and lots of great colors. That's a cute little tack pin. I think it's a tack pin. Yep. Oh, maybe that's more like a like you put it in a buttonhole or your hat or um, a lapel or something. That's very cute. Really little, though. And here's one of these. I've never heard of this name brand before. Coal Port. It's probably chipped somewhere. They always are. If this isn't chipped, that'd be a miracle. Plus, I put it in a... I kind of roughly picked all this stuff up and put it in a bag. Huh. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess it survived. That's really pretty. Look at that. What a beautiful cluster of ceramic flowers. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. Aww. Look at you, little doggy. That's really, really cute. And this is a tack. So that has a point to your back, you know, than that other thing we were looking at. And here is an intaglio. I guess that's like a Roman soldier or something. That's a, a motif I see a lot. Is this a ring, though, or is this a scarf thing? You see how, like, flat that is? I don't think... Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm never quite sure. I'm going to put it in the light. I'm never quite sure when they're really super flat like this, if that makes sense. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe it is a ring. I'm thinking that's probably sterling. I'll, I'll have to check that out. That's really pretty, actually. I think it's different, you know? And here's an old costume jewelry ring. Let me fix my focus. Well, probably from the 40s or something, adjustable. Maybe not, maybe 60s. It's really hard to date stuff like this if it's not marked, you know? Really pretty. No missing stones. It's actually prettier than I thought it was. A little piece of scrimshaw. Probably not old on this. Now, this one is not ivory. This one is bone. Why do I know that? Because of those black specks right there, which are like blood vessels or blood or something. What is that called again? Haversion canals, I believe. So when you see those black specks, it is not ivory. So that would be okay for me to sell. That's actually quite detailed. It's really little. See how small it is? Isn't that pretty? This is charming. I think this has a thing, you know? This is very old plastic. Probably celluloid on this one. Uh-oh, it's either ready to break or it did and somebody repaired it. No, it didn't look like it didn't look like it uh, broke through to the front. It's kind of odd there's not a person in there. I wonder if there should be. Um maybe, maybe something was connected to that. Hmm. I don't know. I like it though. And that's really cool. These are always so pretty. I have never seen them in pierced ears before. Never. I've only ever seen these as clips or screwbacks. Maybe you've seen them like that, but I haven't. And I think that's really nice to have them in the pierced. So these are reverse carved. And then the paint is dropped in from the back. That's a very cool look, I think. Love those. And here is an earring. I wonder if this is supposed to match the other thing. Um, nope. That's a whole different, a whole difference. Oh, hmm. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Did this one say made in England too? Made in, yeah, maybe. I hope the other one's here and it is. Okay, here it is. 
Cool. That's a very cool set. I still don't see any breaks, but I'll take a look with my loop to make sure. This is sort of scratched up. I guess that's lapis, right? Another tie tack. I think this might have some age on it. Don't be fooled by this like plastic card thing. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. It's pretty. It's kind of plain though, right? Not, not a bad thing. This I love. I love it's it's very, very small. It's old too. I just love the detailing. Look at that. How pretty. That's a beautiful abalone. Abalone shell. That looked like that was probably hard to do. This looks like it's like the same shell, right? And then they cut it into these pieces. Doesn't that seem like that kind of goes together? Wow. I love that. That's super cool. And this is like a little silver. I think it's silver. Yeah, a little silver shark's tooth kind of thing. Sterling, $20. Somebody was getting or trying to get. Who knows how long ago, though? That's pretty. I might give that to my husband. He might actually wear that, believe it or not. That's cool. Look at this cute little antique spoon. Ethel. Oh, I love that name. So old fashioned. This is marked Sterling. There's a mark I can't make out on it. It looks like it says, um, let me just try to open it. Hold on. It kind of looks like it says something and S. It looks like a moose head, actually. Anyway, it's, it's not showing up at all, but it does say, it does say something and then it says Sterling. That's super sweet. I have something very, very similar to this. What a nice fairy this is. I don't know who that maker is. How pretty. I'm sure somebody just put it on this cord. Oh, well, maybe not. It could have come like that. I don't know. Isn't she pretty? Very Art Nouveau. These are pretty. Gold-filled opals. I like those. Are those real opals? I guess so. They don't seem super high quality. Sometimes you can tell when they're fake because it looks more like it's glitter or something. Yeah, those are probably real. That's a cute thing. And here's a little, well, a big piece of copper. Bell Trading. That's a good name brand. Something like this probably wouldn't like command a high price. It's just not super special. You know, it's like a basic piece. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but just saying. I have this exact same pin, or I did. These are plastic, little Scotty dogs made in Great Britain. Of course, Scotty dogs became quite trendy because FDR had one or, or more. So a lot of celebrities got them too. And then, yeah, it just became a trend. I love Scotty dogs. I love all dogs, actually. All right, we're going to put some of these. When I find these, I'm just going to keep them to the side because we have we have some odds and ends here, little stones and stuff. What is this? Oh, I like that. That's very nice. And it's marked too. I think that says Austria, right? Oh, how pretty. Isn't that nice? I like that glass stone. Look at that. It has like milky white in it or something. No missing stones. Oh, that's pretty. Look at the hearts. I like you. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of fake opals, where did those earrings go? Let's see if we can A-B them. Big difference, right? This is completely man-made. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I love you. Look at that. Look at that glass. Western Germany. Let's see what this person was trying to get for. $28. West Germany set. Hey. I don't have the other piece, I don't think. How nice is that? It looks like carnival glass, sort of. Isn't that pretty? I love circle pins. And here's just kind of a you know, a more ordinary piece. Is that Sarah, right? Is that what the diamond is? Yep. Sarah Coventry. 
Okay, that's very light. Those are plastic pearls. And this certainly seems, yeah, Bo Sterling, sure. Wow, this is nice and heavy. 25 bucks. Oh, did that say heavy? That's really funny. <laughs> heavy Sterling circle pin. It really is, though. I wish you could feel it. It's heavy. This is so nice. I really like this. Again, with the circle pins, I just kind of, I kind of dig them. What is this? Vendome. Do you say Vendome or do you say Vond? I think Vendome is actually what is the French way. Now, this is a scarf clip. This is not a ring. I don't think, right, with that square. Yeah, I think you put a scarf through that. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's a very good name brand. This is not super fancy or anything. You know, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles you would hope for. It's a pretty piece, though. Now, this one freaks me out a little bit because I believe I have this identical pin, but mine is a Trafari. But I maybe it's a little bit different. But this is not a Trafari. Sterling craft by Coro. I I swear, uh, maybe I, I'm a, I must be mistaken. I really must be mistaken. Anyway, this is lovely. This is likely WW2, I'm thinking. It's in really nice shape. I'll tell you what. I love that one. I bet you that sells for a little something. And here's an old button. That's glass. Oh, that's kind of a, <laughs> that's kind of random. I keep putting these little pieces over here. There's some cool little pieces, actually. Um, I don't know what a lot of these are, of course, but I, I think that they're pretty. I'll just keep putting these over here. Hopefully that's not messing with my focus. Oh, look! I do have the matcher, the matcher to the to the circle pin. Oh, how pretty. Oh, I'm so happy. This is lovely. Look at that. It's like a flower and a plant or whatever. Beautiful. I seem to have really been getting a lot of cameos today. This really, Vandell, doesn't this looks like the this goes with that other thing I had, doesn't it? She was also facing left, and I believe that was also a Vandell. Oh, I see. Okay. One of one of each. Wow, a lot of cameos. And this, I am guessing this is not sterling. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to try to open that in a second. Yeah, I'm thinking it isn't. I don't have my magnet handy, but whoa, what is that? Oh, I see. It's like that Puritan guy or whatever. You see him? I've seen him somewhere before. I don't know if he's a Puritan or a... That's not Sterling, right? No way. Does that, Is that what that says? It does. Well, I'm surprised. It says Stir... stir. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It says 925 FBM. So I don't know who that is. That's That's pretty cool. I mean, unless that's just the catch or something. Some cool charms here, though. So some of these charms may be, some may not be. I'll take a closer look. I'm going to bore everybody, but that one looks like it is. Some cool stuff. That's some castle. Airplane. I always love looking at these. It almost looks like a prefab one, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. Let me see if I can get the Bible open. Hold on. That doesn't make any sense for there to be a hinge there and then this and a Something is in there, but I, I can't get that to open and I'm going to break it. I was really pulling that hard and I it, it won't go. Okay, well, we'll never, <laughs> we're never going to know. I might be able to open it at another time. Well, that's cool. That's cool also that it's sterling, of course. And these are little um, shirt things. Why can't I find my words? You know what I mean. Those shirt, shirt studs. Okay. <laughs> oh, help me. Help me. Okay. Here's a couple little things. And this is, uh, I guess a Boy Scouts thing, right? Is that what it looks like? Does this like tie to their little scarf around their neck? So if, if this is indeed a, the fleur de lis of the Boy Scouts, Boy Scout stuff can sell. It, it sells well for me, or it has in the past anyway. And we've got two very pretty rosaries. Oh, 
How nice. How nice. Oh, and here's, oh, really? Uh, this I've never seen. Look at that. Knights of Columbus. This has a special name on rosaries. I can't remember now what it is, but there is a special name for this. And I actually have a kind of a, a large collection of rosaries that I've collected through the years, and they are beautiful. So my mom and I are going to be showing you at some point. Now, this one looks older. These are pretty glass beads. Oh, how lovely. Light purple. That's a nice condition. Not broken or anything. These are nice and smooth, you know, from somebody touching them through the years. That's lovely. That's truly lovely. And is anything in here? No. Okay. And, uh-oh, I just dropped it, but it's good that I have it. That goes to something. So I'll keep that together. And I got these little things. How are these sterling too? Does that say Richelieu? Hold on. It does. And I just had some other of that same name brand. I, I don't remember what now, but so let's take a look at this. So these are some little pieces. Oh, how pretty are you? Wow. It almost looks like a man, but I guess, I guess it is a woman. Isn't that nice? I guess this is glass. How pretty. Let me just see if I can see any bubbles. I don't see any bubbles, but I'm, I'm thinking that's glass anyhow. And look at this. Isn't this nice? This is likely lava, I would think. I wonder what that was on. It's pretty cool. And here's another one. This one feels plastic. See the big difference? See how the, sh the, the, this one is newer and it's plastic. And then this one doesn't have that same sort of shine. Interesting, right? And what is this thing? Oh, wow. Look at that Art Nouveau um, lady. That's interesting. Does it, what, it, are those wings or something? I, I'm, I don't think I can see it right because I don't know. Well, that's very cool. And then just some of these. I don't know what these are. That's probably not man-made, right? Is that a shell or something? Don't know. But here's a little thing. Sometimes these little things are good because I might be missing something on an old piece. Whoa. And of course, if I sell it, I would disclose that. Here's a cool little thing. And then these little things and this little thing. I guess these are all uh, glass. That's a cool lot. I like that lot. I found the thing I wanted to show you. This is <laughs> the reason that I wanted the lot. What do you think about this? It's a stick pin too. What? Jewelry 10. No idea. But I <laughs> am going to wear him. He's missing a couple of beads, I guess. I might be able to get replace those somehow. Any cute? What do you think? I love the way his tail's going to move a little bit when you walk. I love him. I love him. He's so fun. That's kind of the biggest reason that I wanted that lot, because I knew I would never find another one like it. That's for sure. Any cute? I think he is. Thank you so much, as always, for joining me, everybody. Please stay tuned for part two because we are going to walk around this auction a little bit more. I'm going to show you a lot more jewelry, some other things as well, but we have two more lots that I bought. One of them is quite large. I hope to see you then, everybody. Have a great day, okay? Thanks again. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.